Hello everyone friends, this event happened, but it became available for computers, and now every person can try testing it in their own environment. So I congratulate you all, and let's see what the difference is from the mobile version. Let's go! So on the website we have several versions available. The first version for macOS, a version for Windows, and separately available is a beta version, which I downloaded. Well, installation here basically isn't required, you just need to unpack it. So friends, the first launch of Nomad on PC. We're greeted by this dialog box. I'll run the demo test. And we'll look at the differences from the mobile version. A few moments later. The interface is absolutely identical. I mean, I haven't noticed any changes yet. There are even some amusing moments. In some places, for example, where the camera is, the same translation remained as in the iOS version, that is, double tap. Next, from the innovations and differences that immediately catch the eye. First, is that we now have six light sources instead of four. In the mobile version, there are only four. Next, in render resolution, you can set a maximum of only 1.5. In the iOS version, it's 2.0. Everything else is basically the same. There are no problems installing my tools. Everything works absolutely the same way, without any lag. I tested Clay, I tested Concept Tools. Everything works absolutely the same. I transferred the archive. And after some time, after restarting, all the tools I needed appeared. Let's sort them. Yes, everything works. So all the tools, for example, from the clay pack, I can apply them here. Everything works without any problems. This is cool. Still very unfamiliar for now. If you're planning to buy this version, the price of the full version is $35. Plus you need to purchase Quadra Mesher separately. Again regardless of whether you bought it on your tablet or not. The licenses here are different. PC licenses and iOS licenses are different. Keep this in mind. Here I loaded my model to test. Opening through the menu doesn't work because there are limitations, but drag and drop works for now. So you can throw in your projects from the tablet, for example, Nomad, and they will open. If on the tablet, you can work without a keyboard. Here, of course, hotkeys are simply necessary. So drawing some conclusion, we can say the following, that this PC version is more suitable for people who are not familiar with the mobile version of Nomad, who don't have a tablet, but really wanted to test and try working with this program. In terms of work and functionality, we got absolutely identical versions. Everything works about the same. There are minor differences in light sources, differences in rendering, Perhaps in future updates, we'll see more significant changes to the interface. But for now, it's exactly the same version. Plus, I hope that with more memory and a more powerful PC, we won't have these limitations that are currently present in this version. And one more thing. I'd like the app to update itself. When an update comes out, just like the iOS version, it updates automatically, not manually. Write in the comments how you like the Nomad version so far. And see you in the next video. Bye.